do not look for unanimity of opinion on the fourth generation Audi A4, index B8, on the net. It just doesn't exist. Paying tribute to the advantages of the sedan, many complain about its fragility and high cost. Anticipating a review of a no doubt worthy, and in some places even an exemplary sedan, it should be noted that the negative reviews about this car are often associated with high expectations. Premium brand, German quality, rich history. However, the front-wheel drive sedan and station wagon, B8 is still not worth considering as a standard of reliability. Although in terms of finish, comfort, ergonomics and driving performance, why not? Modifications Audi AA Avant Produced since 2009, station wagon production began almost immediately after the sedan. It was in great demand in Europe. You can't say the same about Russia. However, on the secondary market today you can find a fair amount of station wagons of those years. For cars from Europe, without a service book of our dealer, we recommend to be treated with caution. Audi SA and SA Avant. Issued since 2008. Charged versions of the sedan and station wagon were offered with a V-shaped compressor 3-liter, 6, 333 horsepower, with a robotic or manual gearbox and a mandatory quattro all-wheel drive. Up to 100 sedan accelerates in 5.1 seconds. The SA Avant is 55 kilograms heavier and has a higher drag coefficient. Perhaps that is why he loses to the sedan in acceleration to hundreds of 0.1 seconds. Audi AA All-Road Quattro. Produced since 2009, for the first time, the A4 received the All-Road Quattro version in the fourth generation. A practical car with a ground clearance increased by 3.5 centimeters. On the Russian market, it was offered only with a 2-liter TFSI turbocharged gasoline engine with a capacity of 225 horsepower. It began to be produced at the end of 2007, and they continued through restyling in 2011, until 2015. As befits a German, the Audi A4 had a lot of engines. Petrol 1.8 TFSI, from 120 to 170 horsepower, 2.0 TFSI, from 180 to 225 horsepower, 3.0 TFSI, 272 horsepower, and 3.2 FSI, 265 horsepower. Turbo diesels are also widely represented, 2.0 TDI with power from 120 to 190 horsepower, 2.7 TDI, 190 horsepower, and 3.0 TDI, 204, 240 and 245 horses. We have the most widespread 1.8 TFSI and 2.0 TFSI, with which the greatest number of problems are noted. The main one is considered to be increased oil consumption, up to 1.5 liters per thousand km. The problem appeared on cars until 2011, already at 30 to 40 thousand kilometers. The culprits were the unsuccessful design of the cylinder piston group, which was changed under warranty, and the stuck oil separator valve. There was also a jump on the stretch timing chain on these motors, as evidenced by a difficult start with a characteristic crack. However, this misfortune was typical for cars until 2011 of release. But almost everyone praises the diesel 2.0 TDI, even despite cases of flywheel failure and a clogged particulate filter. We do not yet know anything about systemic problems with six-cylinder engines, but their content is much more expensive. The thin place is considered to be the Astronic Robotic Transmission, Red DSG. She was awarded all-wheel drive version 3.0 TDI and 2.0 TFSI. Jerks, bumps during work, and as a result, rarely anyone manages to avoid flashing and replacing mechatronics. Many questions for the Multitronic Variator. They were equipped with all front-wheel drive modifications of the A4. It is not a contraindication to buying a car but only with the condition of low mileage and a transparent operating history. Repair of the variator and replacement of the control unit, about 100,000 rubles, threaten ruin. The most reliable are considered to be a six-speed mechanics and a Tiptronic automatic, which, however, is available only in combination with all-wheel drive and 3.0 TDI or 3.2 FSI engines. In a word, the later the car is released, the less the risk of running into problems with the transmission. Front hub bearings run 60 to 70,000 kilometers. Their service life is highly dependent on the quality of the roads. About the same amount you cannot follow the anthers of the outer CB joints. Steering rack leaks are not uncommon. And when it hits a hole at speed, it likes to remind of itself by knocking. By the way, 
you can buy a new rail for 110,000 rubles. But on the body you definitely won't have problems, unless, of course, someone ruthlessly repaired it in a garage by candlelight. Even paint chips from pebbles remain for a long time just chips and do not bloom. Front optics often work like a vacuum cleaner. There is ventilation there that sucks in debris and even insects. But the foam filter in the ventilation tube removes the problem. For a long time there will be no problems in the cabin. Crickets are a rarity here, and if anyone starts, it is more likely in the rear shelf or door trim. To call the A4's multi-link suspension problematic would be an exaggeration. Of course, lightweight aluminum that provides ideal driving performance is not the best option for our roads, but the chassis is quite capable of surviving even in Russia. Levers sometimes take care of more than 100,000 kilometers. However, the lower ball joint will make itself felt with the help of a knock much earlier. On pre-styling machines, the ball joint was changed along with the lever, which cost about 20,000 rubles. But then it became possible to change the lower support, 4,500 rubles, separately. The service life of shock absorbers largely depends on the driver's manners and the quality of the roads, but basically they care for their hundred honestly. Although knocking in the cold is a common thing for them. There are also problems with the electrician in the A4. It is full here but they do not have a systemic and ruinous character. Summing up, it is worth recognizing that you will have to pay in full for the pleasure of driving the A4. Service, somehow, here is categorically unacceptable. The level of technology is very high and requires only high-quality fluids and components. And they are not cheap. The choice of version is up to you, but keep in mind that gasoline engines are more capricious than diesel ones, and of the transmissions, the manual gearbox and Tiptronic automatic are the most durable. Otherwise, no major contraindications. Suspension. The cost of wheel bearings is 3 to 7,000 rubles a piece. Work to replace about 2,000 rubles. Replacing a leaky shock absorber, front, will cost about 10 to 12,000 rubles, along with work. The rear shock absorber is slightly cheaper. But changing the CV joint boot is quite inexpensive. The boot itself will cost 700 rubles plus work, 1,500. Transmission. The CVT is considered a good choice for those who travel a lot around the city. It runs very smoothly, and with the 1.8 TFSI engine in sport mode, it's just great. But the control unit for it costs more than 80,000 rubles, plus another 15 to 20 for work. However, the Tiptronic automatic transmission after 200,000 kilometers may also require serious repairs. Engine. Maslozer and accelerated wear of the timing drive system are not the only problems of gasoline engines. Not rare diagnoses are a pump leak, up to 100,000 kilometers, and accelerated wear of the engine hydraulic cushion, on runs of 50 to 60,000 kilometers. The lack of previous traction in TDI engines will tell you about a clogged particulate filter. Body. In general, there are no problems with the body yet, however, some A4 owners occasionally had to deal with peeling paint on the front fenders, along the very edge. Sore was found on cars produced in 2008 to 2010, so when buying a car of these years, wings should be given increased attention. Electrician. Cars produced in 2008 to 2009 eventually sin with the dimming display. Burned out light bulbs are blamed for this. It will not be superfluous to check the operation of the stove motor when buying. After a hundred thousand run, he is naughty. In addition, in cold weather, the keyless car access system is buggy. 